Emergency medical transportation services in Oregon's rural communities, including the South Coast, are facing financial difficulties. KVL's Lexi Ryan spoke with one local ambulance company that is no stranger to such challenges. Bay City's ambulance is the only ambulance service in Coos Bay and North Bend. According to General Manager Tim Novotny, who also serves as president of the Oregon State Ambulance Association, the industry is experiencing unprecedented staffing shortages, an increase in call volume, and heightened operational costs. We only get paid when we transport somebody to the hospital. So every time, and it's usually around 25% of the time we respond, the person doesn't want to go to the hospital. We still have the expense of providing the employees, providing the equipment, providing the fuel, doing everything, but there's no reimbursement. Bay Area Hospital partners with Bay City's Ambulance and discuss similar financial challenges. I'm standing right outside Bay Area Hospital, getting ready to talk to the Chief of Nursing, Jen Collins. We'll be talking about their partnership with Bay City's Ambulance, as well as also the financial struggles that the healthcare field is having themselves. Financially in healthcare across the country, it's challenging. It's challenging times with reimbursement. It's challenging times just financially for all of healthcare. And paramedicine's no different. And I am not surprised to hear that. Bay City is our community partner here. They transport the majority of our patients to the hospital. So any of our uh, emergency patients from within Coos Bay and North Bend come from uh, and are delivered by Bay City's ambulance. They also do a majority of our transports from the hospital to other levels of care, so out to the nursing homes. So we are community partners, we're here to support them. Collins continued saying that without Bay City's ambulance, we would have to refer to outside sources and bigger cities like Eugene and Portland to provide healthcare services. And that would be even more financially challenging on everyone. That costs a huge amount of money and a huge tax on those systems as well. So without Bay Area Hospital and without Bay City's ambulance, it would rely, we would rely completely on Eugene and them to pull to that area. It would, it would absolutely be devastating. Despite the issues, Novotny said BCA's current response times are unaffected. In Coos Bay Reporting, I'm Lexi Ryan. Bay City Ambulance is offering perks for employees, including paid tuition for accelerated EMT classes. We will continue to track this story and its impact on the community.